In this video, we will graph a transformation of the cosine function when the equation is in the form of y equals a times cosine of the quantity bx plus c plus d. The absolute value of a is equal to the amplitude. If a is less than zero or negative, the graph is reflected across the midline. Two pi divided by b is equal to the period. When graphing, we divide the period into four equal subintervals. Negative c divided by b is equal to the phase shift or horizontal shift. If the value is positive, the shift is right. If it's negative, the shift is left. And d is equal to the vertical shift, where if d is positive, the shift is up. And if d is negative, the shift is down. Let's look at an example. Let's graph y equals three times cosine of the quantity two x plus pi over two minus one. So notice a is equal to three, b is equal to two, c is equal to pi over two, and d is equal to negative one. So because a is equal to three, we know the amplitude is equal to the absolute value of three, which is three. Because a is positive, there is no reflection across the midline. b is equal to two. Because b is equal to two, the period is two pi divided by two, which means the period is equal to pi units. Next, c is equal to pi over two. Because c is equal to pi over two, we know that negative c divided by b is going to be negative pi over two divided by two. Dividing by two is equivalent to multiplying by one half. Negative pi over two times one half is negative pi over four. So because negative c divided by b is equal to negative pi over four, we have a horizontal shift of left pi over four units. Again, we know it's left because this quantity is negative. So we have a shift left pi over four units. And then d is equal to negative one, because d is equal to negative one, we have a vertical shift of down one unit. And now let's set up the graph, the graph this transformation of the cosine function. Because we have a vertical shift of down one unit, we know the midline is going to be y equals negative one. So let's sketch that. Y equals negative one is here. To begin, we'll graph one period of this cosine function. And because there's a shift left pi over four units, we'll begin the graph here at x equals negative pi over four. And then because the period is pi units, negative pi over four plus pi, or negative pi over four plus four pi over four units is three pi over four units. And therefore, if we start here, we'll have one complete graph of the cosine function ending at three pi over four units. So this is one period of the graph of the given cosine function. And now we divide this into four equal subintervals. So we'll divide this in half and then in half again. Because y equals negative one is the midline and the amplitude is positive three, if we go up three from y equals negative one, we will have a maximum function value of positive two. And if we go down three from negative one, we will have a minimum function value of negative four. And now we'll graph our cosine function based upon our knowledge of the basic cosine function shown here over one period divided into four equal subintervals. Starting at the y-axis, we have a maximum, then we're at the midline, then we have a minimum, back to the midline, and back up to a maximum. So to graph our transformed graph, we start at x equals at negative pi over four. There is no reflection across the midline, and because the amplitude is three, we start up at a maximum of positive two. Then we go back down to the midline. Then we go down to the minimum of negative four, back to the midline, and back up to the maximum. And now we have the graph of one period of the given cosine function, which looks like this. Once we have one period of the graph of the given cosine function, we can simply copy and paste this graph to the left and right, or just continue the pattern.
So moving to the right, we would be at the midline here, down at a minimum here, and back to the midline here. Now we can complete more of the graph to the right. Going to the left of where we started, we would be at the midline here. I hope you found this helpful.